Hello, my name is Troy Otter. I'm the Rocket Division Lead for HPRC, and I'm going to explain some of our rocket. Um, so our rocket is about 10 feet tall, and it's going to fly to about 4,550 4, feet. Um, we have a couple of different subsystems in the rocket that will take care of that. First up at the top, we have our payload. Um, here we'll go more in depth on this. Along with the payload in this upper section, we have the payload's parachute, as well as the rocket's drogue parachute. It helps to slow it down um, as it's falling. Below that, we have our recovery bay, which deploys the parachutes, um, uses black powder charges to separate the sections. And further below that is our main parachute. Here we have our avionics bay, which has all our flight computer and data recording systems, um, as well as our air brakes, which will help to target our apogee. And at the very bottom of the rocket, we have our fins and our motor tube. Um, so our motor, we load propellant into this, and it produces thrust that allows us to get off the pad. Hi, I'm Paul, I'm the Aerostructures lead. And the Aerostructure system chooses the body, nose cone, and fins of the rocket. The goal of this system is to safely house all of the other things inside. We chose to do three different tube sections. This one here is the bottom section, where the fins go into these slots. There are also intersections that go in between them to keep the whole rocket strong. The nose cone and the fins help to guide the rocket. We chose this fin shape because they are a simple shape uh, and easy to make since we build them by hand. Uh, we also chose this shape to help the rocket stay straight while flying and because they are very strong. Hi, I'm Nate and I'm in the mechanical team. The mechanical team works on the housing for the air brakes and the electronics, as seen here. The air brakes are little fins that come out of the rocket during flight. When extended, they create drag and help our rocket reach our target height. We designed this spine to hold everything in place. It has a bar at the bottom so that when we, when we put it in the rocket and twist it, it doesn't move during flight. Hello, my name is Max Schrader. I'm the avionics lead. Avionics is in charge of uh, all the electronics on our rocket that are responsible for controlling, tracking, and keeping data on the rocket's flight. This year, we designed a circuit board, which you can see here, uh, that uses a small computer chip, a lot like what you might find inside of a smartphone. Uh, and this does a lot of things, such as helping us to find the rocket after it lands using GPS. It sends us data about how the rocket's flying while it's in flight. And it also controls the air brakes so that we can reach the perfect height. Uh, we also work with the payload electronics team, who we'll hear more about later, to do a lot of the programming for the board. Hello, my name is Julia, and I'm the propulsion subteam lead. Propulsion is in charge of choosing the rocket motor and designing a way to keep it in place which is what I have in front of me. We also design a way to keep the fins in place during flight, as you can see here. Before building everything, we also run tests on them to see how strong each part will be, and we get these graphs. When launched, the motor burns and the force it creates exits the bottom of the rocket. This causes the rocket to be launched into the air. I'm Nikita, I'm in charge of the recovery sub-team this year, and recovery is in charge of making sure the rocket lands safely. Um, so this year's rocket has a total of three parachutes. Um, this one is the Drogue, and uh, when the parachute opens, the air goes into the pocket right here, creating a drag force. And since the rocket is falling down from really high up and it's really heavy, we need another parachute to slow it down. So right here we have our main parachute, which is 12 feet wide, and it creates more drag, so it slows down the rocket faster than the smaller drogue parachute. And in order to get the parachutes out of the rocket, we also have electronics that push, them, push the parachutes out at the right height.